Are you seeing any of these errors on your website? I'll help you fix the infamous 404 not found error in this video. Our security experts have put together the four best fixes for you so you do not waste your time. We also have three great tips to prevent this error from getting into your site again. Welcome to our channel. Our team has built multiple successful plugins and here we help you find your website mojo by sharing weekly tips to fix website issues and improve website performance. Now, before we jump into how to fix this error, let's quickly go over what this error is. A 404 error means that the website browser was unable to find the specific page that the URL is connected to. Okay, now I'll show you the four best ways to fix this. There's no magic trick here. You'll have to try each one of these one by one to see what works best for your website. Chapter one, how to fix 404 errors in WordPress. Fix one, update your WordPress website's permalinks. If your site's permalinks are returning 404s, this is the easiest and quickest fix. Simply check your site's permalinks and make sure that they're working. On your website's dashboard, go to settings, then click on permalinks and click save changes directly because you don't need to make any changes. Just clicking this is enough for the fix to work. Fix number two, set up 301 redirects for moved or renamed content. 404 errors can happen when you move around pages but don't update the URLs. The best fix here is to redirect them from the outdated URLs to the new ones. The easiest way to do this is to install the free redirection plugin from your WordPress repository. This will help you easily redirect URLs to pages from your WordPress dashboard. Once you've installed and activated the plugin, go to Tools, then click on Redirection. Enter the 404 page URL in the source URL box and the new URL you want to redirect the site to in the target URL box. Now click on Add this redirect. That's it. Click on your new URL and check if the error is gone. In 99% cases, either one of the two fixes I've just shared with you will work. But if you're facing a super rare issue and this error is still in your site, comment below and I'll help you out. Now, let me show you how to prevent this error in the future. How to monitor 404 errors in WordPress. 404 errors are completely expected in the life cycle of any website. The main prevention here is to use smart tactics to detect them as soon as they occur and fix them quickly. Here are three tips to help you with this. Number one, redirection plugin. We used this in the previous section to redirect websites from outdated URLs to the right URLs. You can also use it to create rules which will automatically redirect URLs in future, saving you the hassle of doing it manually. So click on redirects tab and from the drop down box, you can select the different Different types of rules you want. Basically, if you know that your site often gets hit by a particular type of 404 error, and if you know you're going to be making these certain changes over the next few months that will trigger it, then you can use a rule here to automatically avoid that error. If you want more understanding of these different rules and how to use them, I'll add a great article below in the description for you to check out. Number two, Google Search Console. This is a free method, but it has a huge delay in crawling, so keep that in mind. After verifying your site with Google Search Console, click on Crawl. Then go to the Crawl Errors and click on Not Found to view a list of all the 404 errors that Google has encountered on your site. This will help you catch any errors that you aren't aware of yet. Number three, use crawling tools like Screaming Frog. Unlike Google Search Console, these crawling tools can be used periodically. People would recommend Ahrefs, but I would recommend against that because it is not as efficient as Screaming Frog. Plus, Ahrefs is fully paid, while with Screaming Frog, you can crawl 500 times for free. And that's it. These solutions work for 90% cases, but if you're still stuck, I've attached a link in the description to an article that will help you out. Here are two other helpful videos for you. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I'll do my best to help you. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I'll see you again next week.